Welcome to the Adequate Gaming Channel. This is Whitaker. I've got Malik here for another We Were Here Forever series. Uh, this is going to be part four. Um, we're going to go ahead and go through this kind of all natural and uh, see what it takes us. Um, perhaps timestamps in the description below. All right. So we had just come from the other side here through the legs and we've got to make our way through. I'm assuming one of us goes through each door. Uh, yeah, you would assume right. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, my door says grant absolution. Uh, I'm lagging slightly. Give me just a second. Uh, as am I. My door said confess your greatest sins, and it just opened. Cool. There is some lag going on. A little bit, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, not better. Uh, I'm... Ooh. I was fine until I said something. Okay. That seems okay. Alright, we've got some... Here... Oh. Uh, okay, so these purple chairs? Yeah. That's the hats that the, the leaders wear. Okay, so... Uh, and then you've got the red chair with a crown on it. A bunch of white chairs. Which would just be for everybody else. Okay. Commoners, yeah. And the back wall says, music will guide you home. Okay, so somebody's going to be playing some music. And music will guide you home. I also have a thing that I can, uh, like a lever that I can hold here. Oh, that's a cool looking wagon. Yeah, it's great, but there's not much we can do with it. Yeah, but there's a, check this out right here. I'll hold it down, see what happens. Oh, it's an elevator. Oh, oh, uh, you can get up there. Okay, hop on. Can you hop off? Yeah, I'm off. Yeah, because when I let go, it just drops to the bottom. All right, let me look around. Uh, we got bunks up here, like people lived in here. Okay, okay. Uh, they, uh, remember the, um, what is it? What are they called? The, the little shorts that they put out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I found a room. It's got a door, and I'm afraid once I go in there, it's going to lock me in there. Let me look oh. around some more. Uh, okay, I've got... I'm over here. Hello? Oh, hey. Uh, alright, I guess that's where I need to be. Alright, it didn't lock me in. Okay, this says, uh, when all those presents are seated properly, the ceremony will commence. And I've got four glass, uh, like, lights, maybe? Okay. Um, I've got more heads... Oh. Do you have heads down there? No, but I do have an arm. I've got some portraits. I've got portraits of the leaders. I've got um some some women, which is probably the sisters. Uh, another lady and a, and a, and a dude, but I, I think it's from the shorts. The, 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 okay. Uh, I've got a dude in a top hat and a dude with a monocle. I've got, yeah. um, the, the blacksmith leader with the long beard. Okay. Um, I've got a dude to his left wearing a monocle, all white hair, all white hair on them. Well, um, can you pick those up and bring them down here? I cannot. Oh, uh, they're, they're, they're in cases, but the cases have symbols. Uh, one looks like, uh, well, for example, the glass blower. No, you weren't the glass blower. You were the Mason. Um, it's, it's, it looks like glass. It looks like a, a, dr a drip of glass. And then this looks like a bucket being poured. And then that's it. Yeah. I've, I've got corresponding symbols down here, but I don't have 
literally anything to Oh You did something happened. I pulled oh. a lever. Oh nice, which opened up a door for me, which portrays even more shenanigary. Alright, so um Four leaders. Oh, I get what this puzzle's about. All right, so fair enough. Um, I'm going to you. You said you have a bucket dripping, right? I have, a, I have a bucket being poured. Yes. Yeah, a bucket being poured. Corresponding to that, it is a leader, correct? There's. Is there a leader? Yes. N oh. Um. Th is there a leader that corresponds with the bucket being poured? Yes, it's the long white beard. Okay, long white. Oh, what? Okay, so who here has a long white beard? Nobody. Okay. Uh, oh. Um. Code of contact, men and women cannot sit on the same bench. Okay. Uh, we need ears everywhere. Never sit behind or in front of another resistance member. Ooh, this is lore based. Okay. Um, do you have something you can put in the seats? Uh, yes. I have people. Okay. Just, uh, like bodies or heads? Bodies and heads. Okay. Like the whole person, but they're, but they're not, like, I don't see it. There's no, there are four leaders. But there's none with a... Oh, well, I guess he's kind of got a beard. It's just off his chin. It's not the whole face. Yeah, when you said beard, I thought beard, not goatee. It's not a goatee. Well, it's just the chin, right? Like There's just... there's, there's, there's no stash. Oh. A... It's like a beard, man. Okay. All right, so... I put him on his symbol. Hopefully, that'll, that'll work out. All right, do you have the mason? Uh, yeah, I do. She, oh. she is on, like, a blue, cracked-looking bottle thing. Oh, wait. On a blue, cracked bottle? The mason is? I, I believe that's the mason. And oh, it, it, no, and it's, okay. It's the white-haired woman. All right, go give me a second. I thought each of these symbols were going to be different. There's only four symbols, but there's three rows. And the four symbols repeat on each of the three rows. Right. So right. So, so the leaders sit up front. That's fair, right? Yep. But and, men and, and women can't sit on the same bench. Yeah. And so the, I have a, a blue that, bottle. It doesn't yep. look like it's cracked, though. It just looks like it's glossy. Okay. That's, that's the symbol. I can see you. Um, okay. That is the symbol I am talking about, and that is it, where the the gray-haired woman would go. Gray-haired woman. And if men and women can't sit on the same bench, then the only other leader that I can put down is the other lady leader, which the is the mason. Sure. Okay. I, th I thought the blonde was the glass blower, but I could be wrong. Okay. Well, 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 see, every, like, even in front of the king, it's got a masonry symbol. Okay, now the fourth leader is Clock and Maker. That's the big yellow mustache. Yeah. And he can be here. Okay, so I've got the right. four leaders. So, second row. Okay. Um, we've got one bucket. Now, I've got two people for buckets. So I've got a man and a woman. Uh, third row, I've got it. We've got a bucket. So uh, go grab. It's it's the descendants of white beard guy. So it's a it's a young man wearing a monocle and he's got white swoopy hair. Short hair for the yeah. most part. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, where does he go? Uh, put him in second row next to the red banner. Yeah, that's the guy. All right, now go grab. Let me give you a better description of her. Uh, same white hair, but it's long, and she's got a green bow. Okay. And she would go in the third row behind the red thing. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're talking about clock and makers family. Uh, they're all gonna be yellow haired. Um, I've got a yellow haired top hat wearer, but no symbol. So I don't know what that means. Um, I've got another bottle lady. She's she's kind of got white hair too, but it's in a bun on the top of her head. Okay, and the, this one's bottle. Yeah. Then it will be second row next to the royal. Yep. Now let me go see. I don't have any lights yet. I've got two people with green hats. Green hats? Yes. Oh, uh, is one a top hat? No. They're just uh they're just rounded build hats. One with red hair, one with blonde hair. Uh, I, know, I know nothing about them. I have a top hat with a big handlebar, like, yellow mustache, and then the same, like, chin beard the other guy has. But uh, I... I've got... The only top hat I have has is a brown mustache. Hold on. Can I... It might be brown. It looks yellow on my screen. Huh? Yeah, well, there's only one top hat guy. So, where's he go? I, I have no idea. Oh. But I imagine he needs to be gone. Oh, maybe there's another room. Like on the other side, maybe. Because it feels like I'm missing half of my information. Uh, I've got a portrait that's uh that's got uh symbols that uh have uh people next to them with question marks okay so um, there's, there's, how about you come let me down okay because i've given you all the information i can give you from up here get down yeah okay well okay so it's who was the leader of clock and maker we figured that out uh who was the um one from the bucket and who was the one from the glass i think we got that figured out um code of conduct men and women cannot only sit in spaces your guild has paid for okay we kind of figured that Oh, but then you've got these. This is what I've got, bud. And so this lady, that's Elise. That's King Bartholomew. That's the queen. And then these are resistance members, it looks like. And there's a head missing. I've got this guy downstairs, or upstairs. Okay. I don't have this guy. Um, okay, so these appear to be... Oof. Okay. Oh, there's a head missing from here, too. It's probably Catherine. Um, so this is King Bartholomew's clan, uh, or guild, right? So you got the royals, but one daughter's missing. Um... And then we've got the same green-haired hatted lady over here, uh, which um, to me, this banner would be like resistance or like the queen's court, right? We've got this guy. We've got this hat. I've never seen him before. I have seen him before though. And then this, this lady there. Okay. Uh, I see what you're saying about brown mustache. Um... We're missing two clock and makers. Why is his arm on the floor? 
Oh, it's because he's missing an arm. Did that arm fall? Did that arm come out with it, or was that there already? There already. Is there any other tidbits like that? Does not appear so. I find it hard to believe that, that a boy would sit in this position next to a royal. But, I mean, that's what they want. We need to find a female from the Carpenter's um, clan. Who would that be? Um, I have no idea. All I know is what's in this room. No, I hear you. Okay. <sighs> Alright, go ahead and send me up. What do you think up there? The monocle guy is important. I just don't know why. He's obviously not the leader. But he's got the white hair. And we're missing one. Is that the carpenter line, you think? No, the carpenters are blonde. Unless I was right, and the white-haired lady is a carpenter, and the blonde is a glassblower, and then that makes more sense. Is there another blonde down here? Uh, there's a blonde... Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be... That's gonna be the blonde lady's daughter there's no blonde male is there no unless it's this one because that's like a that's like a black or brown stash this is going to be like a lighterish one and top hat with the mustache down upstairs looks like this guy okay so let's assume that those are carpenters so grab the blonde there The only other carpenter position is here, and then that one, so ladies, and then we need a male clock and maker, and a female clock and maker now. Who do you think that one is? That's the only female left. That would do it, and then monocle man is either the bad guy or... The male clock and maker, which we can then, there's only one doll left. This must go to the royal seat. I 
that. Uh, uh, go ahead and take me upstairs. How'd you get down? You just jump? Yeah. I'm gonna flip the lever and see what happens. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Um, when all those are seated, present are seated properly, the ceremony will commence. And I can't touch the lever, so we must have it wrong. Switch the men. Uh, all six of them? No, just the last two. The weird, uh, monocle -y one. Oh, no, nope, nope, that bag. We know that's pretty, we're fairly certain Top Hat guy's, uh, uh, the carpenter. I was thinking the king and the old guy. guy with the mustache with the flat bill hat is a member of the resistance okay who's the the monocle top hat monocle with top hat oh no just top hat it, it he's he sits next to the monocle guy in my case but there is no like where is he from information He is also a resistance member. That's how we had it said originally. Yeah. But the, the resistance members cannot sit next to or behind each other. Yeah, we're pretty confident about that, the, the white-haired girl. All right, let's start from the beginning. Let's look at my cases. All right, I've got the bull. It looks like white hair to me um, in the glass leadership position. Okay. Did you swap those? Yep. Now the hair, talk to me about the hair. Uh, the white lady has four big curls, two on each side. Yep. That goes in the glass position. Okay. Uh, and then her, what appears to be her daughter, is the, the white-haired bun, and that goes in the glass position as well. Leader or not leader? Not leader. Uh, second row behind you is where she's sitting. Yep. Okay. And then now we're into the bucket people. Uh, we've got the bearded dude as the leader. Then we've got his daughter and son. The son, short hair monocle. The daughter, longish hair with the, with the green bow. And all those sit in bucket locations. So goatee or beard guy uh, in the bucket position, right? Leader. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, short hair with the monocle bucket and what was the other bucket uh white hair female with a bow green bow okay we are confident about that one all right next uh the blonde leader I've got paintings up here that I've noticed, but I didn't know what to do with them. Uh, it appears this might be like a lineage chart. I could believe that. Uh, the one of the one of the green hat ladies is in that line. Okay, uh, in the Mason line. Okay. So switch the green hat ladies, potentially. They have do they have different colored hair? Yeah. Yeah, put the blonde in the 
No, the blonde should be in the carpentry line. Because that's where she sits, right? The blonde? Yeah. We had it right. Okay. And then for clock and maker, uh, there's a, what appears to be a female with a bow. And this, I could be wrong about this being a lineage thing. It could also very well be a seating chart. But it's not, because the men and women are standing next to each other in this. Okay. Uh, the long-haired lady with the bow. The white-haired lady with the bow. I, I believe it's the, the bucket lady. Mm -hmm. She's got a portrait here as well, which puts it right behind Clock and Maker. Is that where she is on, downstairs? Right behind Clock and Maker? No. She's right behind the royal. So switch the, the boy and the girl for the buckets. And then switch the green-hatted lady back to the royal seat. The other green-hatted lady. I thought we, we said that the blonde green-hatted lady goes in the carpenters. The royal seat is a carpentry station. Okay. okay and then right behind the mason is another green hat with red hair not the mason the, the glass blower green hat red hair yep okay so this is a seating chart and then behind the bucket is a dude no oh man that's impossible to tell what that is Dark hair, no mustache, no nothing. Who do we have there now behind the bucket dude? Well, there's lots of bucket dudes. The leader. I'm talking about the leader specifically. Okay. Right, uh, behind the bucket dude is the royal green hat lady. Mm. Hmm. Oh, hold on a second. What, uh, what are you thinking? Never mind. I can pick the doll up through. I I I I saw back on the on the back of the chair or something. Um. Hold. I'll just talk. Hello, hello, hello. It was like a weird robot thing. I think it's fine. Um, hi. Uh, I wish you could come up here and look at these portraits with me. All right, so we've got the mustached leader, clock and maker. Right behind him is white hair, green bow. We've got the blonde leader. Right behind her is definitely the light haired green hat person. Oh, I can see more. All right. Third row behind green hat blonde lady is Monocle Man. Monocle. Oh, uh, balding? Baldy. Ooh. Ooh, a, a gate just opened. Yeah. No, I got a real decisive click. Scared the crap out of me. So we got it then. Yeah. Okay, now I can see all the portraits, but I can inter I can oh I can interact with them. So now we need to decide who what the, what does this symbol mean? Uh, oh it's, you it's it's moving you're moving things on the back of their chairs. Yeah. Yeah. So that symbol, uh, when I turn it on, that's what I see. That symbol. What are we trying to determine? Oh. Well, that's one. That turned the light on. That also, oh. 
I get four of those. Uh, go back into your room and read me the resistance thing again. We need ears everywhere. Never sit behind or in front of another resistance member. Okay. How many resistance members are there? Um, four. But there's three, but one missing, right? Yes. What are the three? Um, bald monocle man, handlebar mustache. Uh, handlebar mustache leader? No. With a, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a brown flat bill hat or a black flat bill hat. Or not flat bill. It's a rounded hat. Like a bowler cap. Yeah, kind of, but, you know, and more, he's got... more, more brim. Okay, I've got top hat and I've got bowler cap. And those bowler. are the only bowler bowler with a giant mustache. Okay. And then uh red haired green hat lady. Okay. That's so it. Now we need to figure out the leader. Well, who yeah, who the leader is. So if you're not allowed to sit behind one. Well, but you can't sit next to him either. No, you just can't sit behind them. What is it? You just can't sit behind him. I thought it was next we, to you or we, behind. We need ears everywhere. Never sit behind or in front of another resistance member. Okay. So it's not the gray haired uh, leader. It's not the one in the royal position or the one behind clock and maker. So it's, uh, it's the blonde haired. It's either that one or it's the uh, leader with the beard, uh, chin. Or it's no, it can't, because the, the the leader with the bearded chin sits directly in front of the red haired lady. No. Okay. That's not how it is on my painting. Well, that's that's how it is out here. Oh. Okay. So you're gonna have to tell me more about out there because I thought my my wall matched outside and it doesn't. All right. Um, it's uh, flip up the one of the blonde-haired leader. No. Wait. What happened? All of my stuff reset. Yeah. So it's that one, that one, and that one. So. Uh, well, are we looking... Is this symbol depicting the resistance? Or is it depicting the royal? It wouldn't depict the royal. We don't, we don't have the wife or... No, I've got the resistance symbol down here. Is that it's that one. Is? It's It's one from each household. Is it now? Yeah. Okay. Let's determine which house we're missing. Well, there's two carpenters right now. That's um, what your inside case said, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, if that's what the resistance symbol is, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just one of the cases. It doesn't have any symbolage on it. But it's not the one that's part of the royal. All right. So it's not you, and it's not you. It's it needs to be not you. Oh, the first one is definitely the leader clock and maker. Oh, all right. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and put that one back. There's no way it's it's not that. All right, and then we need a carpenter, a bucket, and a glass. Well, there's only two glasses to pick. It's either bun lady or leader lady. And uh, it's then it's Bun Lady. Okay. okay. Those two I'm very confident about. Okay. And then we need um, Bucket and Carpenter. Uh, Buckets is probably gonna be that kid. Okay. So now we just need to determine the carpenters. Who's in the carpenter seats? 
Uh, we need a carpenter. Oh, um, bald haired monocle guy. I had a door open. Or shut. And shut. Okay. All right, musical instruments uh, opened up. Yeah, it sure did. Now we've got symbols again. Oh, Ooh. that's out of tune. Oh, yeah. no. What's up? <laughs> okay. I've got music paper, like music sheets. Okay. All right, so this one has a one on it. Alard the Clear. I'm assuming your notes are in letter format. Yeah. Yeah, mine are in number format, but I've got a conversion chart for three of the four. B E G B D F A. I've got G A and B. Okay, I have no idea how to explain this to you. So, and I don't know anything oh. about reading music. So, oh, I've got a, I've got, I've got a little bit of a conversion chart for some weird symbols mm -hmm. that convert to C D E, yeah, C D and E. Is so the C, last D, letter e. not have a symbol on it? Uh, no, it's it's ripped off. Yeah, I've got the other half of that. I've got four symbols, three letters. You should have three symbols, four letters. Okay, yeah, the other one's F. So, okay, the letter that you don't have a symbol for that look okay so mm, let's start with b right okay b is it looks like don't push that it looks like the glare of like uh like a like a chemist's bottle it's a triangle with a a slant to the peak of the triangle and then straight up yep that is b Okay, so I have an idea of how this puzzle might work. Are you ready? Um, okay. We need to match the symbols across these four things. So we need an area where symbols oh. are. Yeah, no, I've, I've got a place to hang my, my music. Does that do anything for you? Not that I can tell right away. It might just be a place for me to hang the music. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. Let's just try to play the fur. Oh, maybe I have to put them in order. Yeah, there, yeah, there, there, there should be a code somewhere with a bunch of random symbols. And then we have to decipher each of those symbols into the things. And then I have to play it in that order. Yeah. So I've got six cards. They're not cards. They're music sheets. Uh, one of them has a one stamp on it, which makes me believe that's first. That makes sense okay. to me. That's what we were working on. Uh, it ends. The last note of that is B. Um, then I've got the another sheet where it's got two lines of music. Um, the second note drops to this. The fourth note drops to this. But, okay, hold on. If we got to play in order, then it would make sense to me that the second sheet should have a note from the first sheet. And then that would drop to this one, which makes it, this is third. Has to be. That drops to there. Four drops to that one. Then it's zigzag on two. That's on four. So then it's that again. And then that turns to that. And that gives me a zigzag on all of them. And then, okay, I've got it. Okay. This is the only way it makes sense in order. But I don't know what to do with this last sheet because it doesn't have any music on it. It just has lines that interchange. The, the, the note on three is the first note, and then the note on one becomes three. So you might want to grab a place to write these notes down in order. 
Um, you can't just tell me them out as I play. Well, we have to convert them to notes you can understand. Because I'm going to describe squiggles that we have to convert to letters so that you can play them. Okay. Um, I've got the other part of that squiggle. No, I under okay, I understand, but we got to get them into letter format. Okay. Right? Yep. Go ahead. All right, so we're going to start with note one. It um, It's two symbols side by side, both vertical. The left symbol looks like a fish hook almost. The right symbol looks like a standard musical note. I have no idea which one it is. Which I, which I have. That's a G. First note is G. The second note is A. The third note I don't have. It just looks like a zigzagged two. Okay. Um, All right. So hold uh, G G huh? first. Yep. Okay. G A, whatever your zigzag note is. B then A B, C. Then B. B. Okay. Now for the second bit of music. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you play them all the notes again, but um, your second note turns into uh, the note that's at the tear. What is that? F. F. Yeah. Yeah. So the second note becomes F. So G F. Uh, squiggle. B. B F C B. That's the second sheet. The third sheet, uh, assuming that we have to play all the notes again, it's going to be G again. The squiggle again, so twice. B, e, C, C. And then B turns into, this is a new one we haven't gotten. It looks like, um, looks like a shoe, but you're not going to see a shoe. Um... The left, the top left of the symbol is like two balls, and then it kind of swoops down like a signature yep. might. Okay, D. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so that's the that's the fourth note on that. Okay. So yeah, B turns into D. Okay, D. Yeah. All right. So the next page, it's the uh, the second note turns into. Uh, F. The fourth note turns into C. Okay. Oh, interesting. Um. It. I've got them backwards. What backwards? I've got these backwards. Okay. Uh, the next one, you're going to take the notes you got on three and one and flip them. You're going you're gonna to flip the first and third note and play that. Um. So, B, F, B, G. Uh, no. No. The fourth note should be C. Let's just start... Oh! Okay, let's... Okay, I'm uh, Xing that out. We'll, we'll start from the first sheet. Let's do this. Alright, so, just to be more clear, I've got six sheets, each okay. with four notes. Okay? Yep. All first right. sheet. First sheet is G, A, okay. C, B. Uh, you're going to convert the A to an F on the second sheet. So it's G, F, C, B? B. Yeah. Okay. All right. The fourth sheet should be G. Uh, the third sheet? Third sheet, sorry. Starts with G again. It's then C, C. And then that's the that's the 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 two balls with the signature squ squiggle. I have no idea what that is. D. Okay. What was it again? D. D's and dog. Okay. Yes. All right. So, 
Now that's a D and that's a C. So on the fifth, fourth sheet, the fourth sheet, uh, line two or note two, C is going to convert to F. So okay. it'll be G, F, and then I think it's still C. And then uh, the fourth note becomes a C. So G, F, C, C? Yes. Okay. Okay, the fifth sheet. All we have to do is swap the first and third note. First and third note. Yep. Okay. Swap them, so that'll be C, F, G, C. Okay, then the C note on, oh, this is the sixth sheet. The C note on one becomes like the top right-hand side of a square, but it's got two lines on the top bar. An E. Okay, and then uh, the fourth note becomes an A. So it's G-A-E-A. -A. Yeah. All right, let's give this a shot, shall we? So we've got uh, G, A, C, B. Okay. Okay. Oh. We didn't need to do all six sheets at once. No. Okay. All right. G F C B B Oh. Okay. Uh now G F B B <laughs> Oh, they turn green when I get them right. All right. Uh, G, C, C, D. <laughs> you know, hiding from the king or making this all kind of, all, all this noise. Right? G F C C. Mm. This is my jam. I ended a little short there, didn't I? All right, uh, B, F, G, C. Oh, I like this one. That's gestury. It does. Oh, it's called The Younger. Yeah, they all have, uh, this one's called The Talented. D. A. E. A. Oh, we got it wrong. Not G. Uh, the, the first note is not G. Okay. How did you get G? Um, because it's not the note I described to you, and there's no way you could see that. Well, because you said switch three and or one and three. Correct, and then the C on one. Oh no, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, what's 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 number six? Okay, so I've got five. Five is right. Okay, uh, the C on one transforms to a new note we have not used before. 
it is like um looks like the number seven but okay. it's got it's, two weird it, squiggles it, on the top line it's an e the e. second note uh would be the same as the page uh five all right a and then three is the same as five or no f f g e f g and then the fourth note is an a Hey, wow we messed that up somehow uh, e f g a Are all your lights still lit up? Or do we have to do that again? No, the lights are still lit up. Okay. Then we got we got we got number six wrong. Yeah. But it, it can't be that wrong. Um, okay, you've got three notes that you can see symbols for. Yeah? Yeah. What notes haven't we used? Um we've used all of mine. Yeah, uh E. So E has to be that one. E has to be first. Okay. And then okay. it is, it is, it is, it is number five is CFGC. Okay. CFGC. Yeah, that makes sense to me. All right. Okay. So, so it should go C or it should go E is the new one. Yep. Go E and then F and okay. then G and okay. then A. All right, I'll I'll give it a shot. Uh, a, B, a. Oh, I was pressing C instead of E because they look rather similar. Okay, that's a that's a my bad moment. some stairs and some cranks far without me i'm coming i mean i can't do anything with it you know unless you're here so the game is forcing me yeah it's definitely all right, cool. What does this side say? Uh, every composer changed the hem to their liking when Ede followed the original composer, Allard, Uh Citing variation. Oh, yeah. I didn't get the other half of that page. Weird. Oh. Okay. You ready? Oh, yeah. Holden. Oh. We gonna hold hands? Now sing the soul that lived here before. Yet all but two, we fled through the door. Anyone like us, caught in the ice, hark to our song, we forge the device. When King betrayed us, we sought defiance. All of his subjects formed an alliance. Okay. We opened the door, but left to the submarine. Behind. No, it's a telescope. They hit our it looks like a ray gun. For you <laughs> to find. What? Kill the king? To keep it secure. Yeah. It's broken in three. Assemble the parts. And you shall be free. Into the oh. graveyard, look for the glass. Cast in the foundry, base made from brass. 
and under our town, guarded by guilds, find the contraptions Clockmaker builds. Once here assembled, let shine the light, for it shows the way out of this dark night. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm pretty sure they could have made it out of something stronger, but Brass rhymed, so I get it. <laughs> nope, sure. All right, so in the oh, great... Oh, I like your walkie-talkie, bud. I know, yours is cool, too. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Stop moving. Okay. Look at my arm. It's uh, clear of a hand. Yours has a hand. Why does mine have the hand now? I don't know what happened. I've always had the good walkie-talkie. I, I know. It's not like we switched spots. Um, well, you know, things happen. Mama's got a hand. Okay. All right, so there's three things. All right, that we need to grab, obviously. So this is cool. I didn't know you could enter without me. <laughs> I didn't know either. I thought it was looking like ready me up. Yeah, same. I, I, I made it out too. But I'm in a white screen. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm assuming this is going to be something big. And with that, we're going to go ahead and save this for uh, for part five. Um, sorry we're splitting them up so much, guys. It's just... Uh, we don't want it to be too terribly long. I know, you know, audience retention isn't, you know, incredibly high. If I see something like, oh, that's a that's a four hour video, I'm probably not gonna watch the whole thing. So we wanna we wanna cut it down into a little bit of uh, bite sized pieces for you, puzzles at a time, and uh, we wanna do this naturally. So you know, I hope you enjoy. Uh, this is the Adequate Gaming Channel with Whitaker and Malik here. Until next time, yeah.